Shanti Shalom, everyone. I want to talk about being happy because I'm happy. And it's not that I'm deranged that I'm happy or that I haven't experienced some horrible, horrendous things in my life. It's just that what I choose to think about and focus on is called sanity because why would I want to feel bad? There's people who are just unhappy all the time. They've gone through horrible things, but the problem is they stay there. I don't want to stay anywhere that feels bad. I'm not crazy. I want to shift my energy to what feels good. So I've been through truly horrific, horrible experiences. Horrible. But I don't pretend they didn't happen, nor do I hang out and spend my life in that bad vibration. Because I know life is going to bring me some other things to go through. So when I have the opportunity to align myself to feeling good, because that's my choice, has nothing to do with anything outside of me, because I'm in control of my feelings, then that's my level of sanity. That's my spiritual growth. So even if people are paying attention to what they're against, that's also a big issue. Stop voicing what you don't want, who you don't want. What happened yesterday, this experience, you don't have to go through that ever again. If you learned your lesson, then you're done. You don't have to experience the horror anymore. You could just say thank you to the lesson and just go. So my happiness isn't because I live in a bubble. I live in a bubble because I'm happy. Uh, I made a choice that growing up, I couldn't live in a bubble because I had to adhere to others' um, demands and wants and all that kumbaya stuff. So now that I have a choice of what I'm thinking about, because who's ever going to change your thoughts? Now that I have a choice, I'm going to vibrate where it feels good. And when I spend my day in daydreaming land of happy things, because people are spending their days dreaming of unhappy things, and then they're miserable. Miserable people like it, obviously, because they could choose something different. Nobody's stuck in a feeling or a thought. That's the beauty. Thoughts change all the time. Feelings change all the time. It's your choice. Where do you want to align? Do you feel that you deserve to feel good? Are you worth feeling good? Is that something that you feel entitled to? See, I always feel entitled to feeling good. Always. Even if I'm feeling bad, I'm not going to tell you about it, nor am I going to do a video. If I'm in a pissy day mood, I'm not going to sit there and talk to you, hi, I'm pissy, hi, listen. Not because I'm trying to um, deceive you and not show you my true self. It's if I'm in a pissy space, why would I want to share that and put that on you? I'm too nice for that. <laughs> if I'm in a pissy space, I'm going to go be in that and get me out of it. See, I have the power to get me out of that by thinking differently, by putting on a groovy song I love, by watching a movie, by looking at the clouds, by hanging out with my dog. There's so many things I could do to elevate my mood because it's just a feeling and feelings change. But if you find yourself consistently in a feeling of despair and negativity and stress and anger and woe is me and depression, you owe it to yourself to find any outlet to get away from that energy. Anybody could be happy and anybody could be miserable. It's just really up to you. Just like this whole debate going on, we're we in an election year. I think you have all might have heard about it. I don't even know who I am right now, to tell you the truth, because I have watched every single convention. I watched every day learning what's going on, because I just wanted to. I don't have to. It's not going to change my, well, it might change my life. Who knows? So once you have information, so I'm not going to sit here and voice who I'm against. I'm not giving him power. I'm voicing what I'm for because that's how it grows. And I'm doing that in every aspect of my life. I'm paying attention to what I want and the experiences I want to manifest. And even that, when you have things you want to manifest, things that you're hopeful for, that you're faithful, like, oh, I can't wait for this to happen. Don't spread that energy around. Don't tell people about it because a lot of people may want to bring you down. And if you're not spiritually strong within yourself, then they may get you. So don't, don't spread all your thought seeds all over the place. 
You want to stay where you feel good and aligned to it because it's yours. And then even when things manifest, the experience that you wanted so wonderfully, when that manifests, you still don't know what it is because the experience isn't over yet. So everything that we're going through constantly is an unfolding. And what could this next moment bring and this new idea bring and um, this new thought? Whenever you get like a a daydream, an inspiration, when something just drips into your head, when that happens for you, that's that's from God and spirit. Like, listen to this dog next door barking. I can't. The neighbor, bless, says, oh, he's so spoiled. If he was so spoiled, my love, you'd open the door when he's barking for an hour and a half. You wouldn't leave him outside. See, it's just a level of intelligence and clarity that we're living with. Yes, this is what it's all about. You can't choose your neighbors. You could choose your thoughts. Oh, there's a beautiful butterfly. So, my happiness, your happiness, all our happiness is 100% dependent on what we choose to focus on and think about. That's why so many people are out there meditating and doing yoga and reading and doing everything to align with their birthright. I want to feel good. Some people don't want to feel good, so leave them there. If there's people laying in a well and one's climbing to get out, let's help the person trying to get out. The one sitting there satisfied, leave them there. You, your satisfaction is completely up to your thoughts and your feelings. Your attraction is up to the same. So if I'm attracting things I don't want, it's not life's fault. It's not the economy's fault. It's my thoughts. So then I'm not going to pray it away. I'm going to treat myself by speaking positively and truth. And I may grab my favorite book and read a page and a line and say yes. Not because I want to go to um, lollipop land, because I want to connect with the truth. And the truth is that we're, we're to be full, we're to live in joy, we're to be happy. It's your choice. Happy people, it's not that they're lucky, it's just their nature to be happy. It's their choice. Nobody said, um, okay, let's give these people the happy, get in the, um, aisle A is the happy people, aisle B is the miserable people. No, no matter what circumstances you're going through, you have a choice. Focus on only what you want to manifest. And if you can't do that, don't speak. Because our words are for the three purposes, to bless, to heal, to prosper. That's what our words are for. So if something you're saying doesn't feel right or good or connected to the result that you want, hi, I want to feel awesome, I want to be happy, I want to be just like that, then don't talk about it, then pish tosh yourself. Go to sleep. <laughs> Take a walk. Go swimming. Do anything to get you away from the negative thought because it's just a habit. So it doesn't, happy people, they're not living in the clouds. They're looking at the clouds. They're done with, they did the groundwork, honey. The groundwork is done. The seeds are planted and they're looking up. They're moving upward and flowward. What did Mrs. Obama say? When they go low, we go high. So go high, people. I want to wish you a blessed day, and off I go. Shanti.